Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 9th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are in Minnesota for a four-game set, so let's simulate the rest of these. Alright, what do we got? Let's start at the top. Alright, got some uh, closed games here, one and two run games. 5 nothing for the Cubs over the Giants. An entertaining game between the Mariners and the Orioles. The Orioles 6-5. Uh, Rangers 6-3 over the Red Sox. 4-1 for the Athletics over the White Sox. 3 nothing for the Tigers over the Indians. 4-1 for the Angels over the Brewers. And same score for the Royals over the Yankees. 4-1. Alright, Toronto Blue Jays at Minnesota Twins. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Next up for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. All right. Pitched All Star. Bullpen. We got Juan Guzman at Robertson, and Robertson is a lefty. All right. Let's take care of the lineup. And in batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Jacob Bromfield as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Tilson Brito at second base, Joe Carter at first base, Robert Perez in right field, Sean Green in left field, and Alex Gonzalez as shortstop. All right, let's play ball. Otis Nixon to start things off. And base hit. The catcher, number 18. Mm. Nicely placed change up there. Send Nixon. And he made it. Counts 0 and 2 to Benito Santiago. Oh. Another one. Another well placed pitch. Now that the designated hitter. <laughs> Number five. Ooh. Oh, they're throwing those now, eh? The high eighties, the ones that I'm not sure if I've even hit one yet. <laughs> and the change up throw me off, and let's see what happens with the third pitch. I was actually somewhat ready for that one. <laughs> Two out. Next up for the Blue Jays, the third baby, number 33. And it's over that gigantic Next wall. For the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 14. Home run number 22 for Ed Sprague, 429 feet. Next up, Tilson Brito. In case you're wondering, that was a normal powered swing. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Ooh. Almost beat the throw. Now that for the twin, the second baseman, number 11. Ah, uh, Chuck Knobloch. All right. Uh, let's go with a, uh, let's go with a slow slider down and in. Ah. Uh, Thought the shortstop was going to be going th the one going there, but so uh, base it. Next up for the twin, the center fielder, number twenty. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's. Hmm. Let's 
go with a medium slider down and away. Try a slow change up down and away. And see if we can blow it by him up and in. Oh. Lift it in the center field, base hits. Next up, the designated hitter, number four. Good old Paul Molitor. Alright, let's go with the uh, medium slider up and in. Oh, the slow fastball down it in. And foul. Let's try a fast changeup up and away. Ooh. Throw the second, throw the first. Oh, almost got him. Runners on the corners. The catcher, number thirty-six. All right, let's start off with a medium changeup down and away. Keep my eye on the uh, runner on first. Uh, let's go with the uh, let's go with a medium fastball down and in. Hmm. Let's try a slow slider over the plate. Oh boy! All right, and runners are staying. Now that for the twin, the left fielder. Number 40. Right, let's go with a slow slider up and in. Foul ball. Let's try a medium fastball down the middle. Let's try a slow change up down and away. Shallow right center. Run scores and base hit. Next up for the twins, the first baseman, number 37. All right, let's go with a medium slider over the plate. All one. Let's try a fast slider on the outside of the plate. Ball two. Uh, let's try a medium slider. On the outside part of the plate. Bunts it. Tags third base to get the third out. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Ooh. Oh, well, that's foul. Oh. <laughs> uh. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number seventeen, Robert Perez. Foul ball. I was actually thinking about bringing uh, Orlando Merced in again, but eh. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Right back to the pitcher for the third out. <laughs> Next up for the twin, the third baseman, number twelve. All right, let's try a fast changeup up and away. Let's try a medium slider down and away. Try a slow fastball down and away.
Show the left center. Yeah. Kept the ball from going too far out. How bad for the twin, the right fielder, number 50. All right, uh, let's try throwing the heat. A slow fastball down and away. Try a slow change up, up and in. Throw all, throws the second, throws the first. Oh, beat the throw again. They've got some runners on the twins. All right, let's go with a fast slider over the plate. Go the medium slider down and in. Hmm. Try a slow fastball down and in. Oh boy. Oh, I could have thrown it first. Oh well. <clears throat> now batter for the twin, the second baseman, number eleven. All right, let's go with a slow slider up and in. I said the rare for most appearances. Ah, <laughs> I chose B. Alex Gonzalez. Next up for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. And base hit into left field. Now batter for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Field. No. Debating whether I'd be able to make it a second, but no, I don't think I would The designated hitter, number five. All four. Next job for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Becker. Right. Try a fast slider up and away. Whoa. <laughs> now better. The designated hitter. Number four. Let's go with a slow fastball up and away. Try a slow slider down and in. First. Next up for the twin, the catcher, number 36. Try throwing the heat down and away. Yeah, let's try throwing a yeah, slow fastball down the middle. Hmm. 
Try a medium slider down and in. Now better for the blue game. The second paper. Number fourteen. Tilson Brito. Ground ball the first. Next up for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Ooh. Oh, he got it over the third baseman. I was thinking I was going to miss that one. The left fielder, number 17. Robert Perez. Hmm, pardon me. Drive in a left field base hit. <clears throat> Heard me. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. And ground ball the third, throws the second, throws the first, double play. Next up for the Twins, the left fielder, number 40. All right, uh, let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. Fly ball left field. Next up for the Twins, the first baseman, number 37. Let's try throwing the heat on the outside part of the plate. Try a slow change up down and away. And let's try a slow slider up and away. Next up for the twin, the third paper, number twelve. All right, let's go with a medium slider up and away. Ooh, in the right field, base hit. Next up, for the twin, the right fielder, number 50. Hmm. Let's throw the heat down the middle. Bunts it. Let's try it again. And let's try a slow changeup up and away. Now better for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Alrighty. Fly ball the shallow left. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Next up for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. It's a routine grounder. Oh, ho, ho, infield hit. Next up for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Good hustle by Otis Nixon. Send him a second. Bad pitch to throw it. Go on, but catcher decided to run out instead.
Two and two. Ground ball on left field, base hit. Next up, the designated hitter, number five. Expecting that one to break down a bit more. <laughs> In case you didn't see the first pitch, that was the exact same one. <laughs> there is a changeup, and uh oh, and double play. Now batter for the Twins, the shortstop, number two. All right, let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. With a slow change up down and away. He pops, pops it up. up. Now batting for the twin, the second baby, number 11. Oh, poor me. Oh. Where did I come from? Alright, let's go with a uh, fast slider over the plates. Yeah, let's try throwing the heat over the plate. Let's try a slow fastball down and away. And let's try uh, let's try a medium slider up and away. Ball in right field, all the way to the corner, and that's just a single. Now that for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number twenty-nine. Wasn't expecting that. And ground ball and oh, awesome play by the second baseman. <laughs> the designated hitter, number. Four. That had a right field written all over it, but no, he got there in time. So, yeah, let's go with a medium fastball over the plate. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Next up for the Twins, the catcher, number thirty-six. They want to take a look at uh, Guzman's. Stamina after the inning, I guess. A slow slider there. Let's try a slow slider down and in. Oh boy. No kidding. Come on. It's gone. Next up, for the twins, the left fielder, 
Number 40. Home run number seven for Steinbach, 399 feet. All right. Let's go with a fast change up down the middle. Go with a medium slider down and in. And let's try a slow change up down and away. Let's go with a uh, let's go with a medium slider up and away. Let's go with a uh, slow fastball up and in. And yeah, let's try a fast slider down and away. <clears throat> Pardon me. How are you doing, Juan? You still doing good? Alright. Robert Perez. And now. Well, back to the pitcher. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Good pitch choice. <laughs> and line drive into right field all the way to the wall, and that's just a single. Good base hits, just got a little too much on them. Number eight. To get anything more than a single out of them. Ellis Gonzalez. Does it have enough? It's gone! Alex Gonzalez! For the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. First home run of the season for Alex Gonzalez, 450 feet. Otis Nixon next. Nice to see him hit another home run. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Next up for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Got to hand it to the left fielder for getting to the ball. They had a nice arc to it from a batting standpoint. <laughs> and straight to the left fielder, pretty much. <laughs> Next up for the twin, the third baseman, number 12. All right, let's go with a slow fastball up and away. With a medium fastball down and away. Ah. 
base hit. Now batting for the Twins, the right fielder, number 50. Got a medium slider up and away. Ooh, the medium change up down and in. One ball, throws the second, throws the first. Man, we got runners. Oh, it's the same runner as the last time that beat the throw first. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's throw a fast slider over the, down the middle. Try a medium slider down and in. Ball two. Let's try a slow, yeah, slow fastball down and away. Try throwing the heat down and away. Ball three. All right, let's, let's try a slow slider up and in. Ooh, that was, I, I actually thought that was going to be ball four. Uh, let's try throwing the heat down and in. Now batting for the twins, the second baseman, number 11. There, right, let's go with... Let's go with a medium slider over the plate. <clears throat> Throw the first for the third out. Next up, the designated hitter, number five. Still doing good, Juan? Yeah, you're doing fine. Alright, Jacob Brumfield. Fly ball to the left. Fly to the outfield. Out. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the third baseman. Number 33. And ground ball in the right field. Oh, they were not expecting that one. And he's in the second. Next up for the Blue Jays, the second baseman. Number 14. Tilson Brito. Ooh. I don't know why I swung at that. Maybe I thought it was going to break a bit more. <laughs> and that one didn't have to break at all to get into the strike zone. It did, but it didn't need to. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh yeah, I finally got a refresher on, uh, I don't know how long ago I, this was a topic, but uh, you know, Joe Carter's uh, uh, World Series winning home run, it was the 93 World Series. I remember seeing a, uh, what was it, something about uh, Ricky Henderson, okay. just a, a quick... Uh, Number a quick video on, I think it was on the, the Jays website, or it might have been on Sportsnet, but uh, put a medium slider down and away. Yeah, about Ricky Henderson, his story of coming to Toronto in that year, uh, basically just, he said, I was having a fantastic year, the team was struggling, he didn't even want to go to Toronto. <laughs> and a big one of the most beloved players that we ever had, I guess, but uh, yeah. I think he was up, he ended up getting on base. I can't remember, I think it was either... For some reason I've got either a walk, it was either a walk or a double or something like that. Or whatever, he got on base. And then the next person up was Joe Carter and he cranked it and won the World Series against the Phillies. With a slow slider down on the way. And let's go with a fast change up, up and in. Right. And he 
fly down to the outfield. Now that out, the designated hitter, number four. But yeah, seeing that uh, home run again, it's like, I mean, 93 was the 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 back-to-back -back one, the one that, you know, they won the first one in 92, but the way Joe Carter celebrated, you'd think it was his first World Series win. <laughs> but I guess, you know, as long as the uh, baseball season is, you know, 162 games plus, you know, the All-Star Game, Home Run Derby, uh, you know, up to, I think, like 26 games in the playoffs kind of thing, if you go full the full length of all the all the rounds kind of thing and it's quite a uh, a long season so yeah i think we're including the home run dirty well, including the all-star game i think it works out to like 189 games or something like that but yeah medium slider up and in so a slow fastball down and in And a shot to shortstop to end the inning. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. All right. Um, Guzman's had a good day, but let's uh, let's set him down. I'm gonna have Crabtree warm up, and let's warm up Williams. All right, just in case. All right, Robert Perez. Ground ball in the right field, base hit. The left fielder, number 15. Sean Green. Fly ball to the left. A fly Perez back to field. first. <laughs> Next up for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number 8. Fly out to the left foul territory. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next up for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Ball one to Otis Nixon. Fly ball to shallow center. Base hit. Oh, it rolls all the way to the wall. One run scores. And no. Triple for Nixon. The pitcher for the twin, number 47. All right. Who are we up against? Another lefty, Aldred. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> it's a routine grounder. Next up for the five two, it's still save territory. Number forty. So let's bring in Crabtree. I kind of want to still leave Williams warming up just in case something goes wrong. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Let's go the slow, slow slider up and in. Next up for the twins, 
The first paper, number 37. Uh, all right. Let's go with a medium slider, or medium fastball down the middle. With a slow slider down and away. And he bunts it. And, oh, just got him at first. Next up, for the twin, the third baby, number 12. Alright, let's go with a slow slider up and away. Wow, that actually broke to the point where it was ball. <laughs> let's go with a slow fastball up and away. Mm, pardon me. Give a slow change up, down and away. And let's see if we can blow it by him up and in. Strike three to end the game. Alrighty. <coughs> Pardon me. The Toronto Blue Jays. Five runs on 13 hits, zero errors. Nice to see two zeros there at the end for both teams for a change. All right. Wow. Otis Nixon went four for five. Two stolen bases, one RBI, one run. Home run by Ed. Sp home runs by Ed Sprague and Alex Gonzalez. Two RBIs apiece. Ed Spray was two for four. Robert Perez was two for four. And Jacob Brumfield is the only one that did not record a hit. However, he did get walked. So, yeah. All right. Pitching. Juan Guzman went eight innings, struck out seven, zero walks, one home run, two earned runs. Tim Crabtree, one inning pitched, one strikeout, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Gets the save. One Guzman's record improves to 9 0, and Tim Crabtree gets his fifth save. For the Minnesota Twins, two runs on 10 hits, zero errors. Home run by Steinbach, solo shot. Walker went 3 for 4. Lawton went 2 for 3. Stahoviak and Mears, the only two Twins. That did not get a hit. Did not record a hit. RBI for Cordova as well. And pitching. Robertson. Eight and two thirds innings pitched. Four strikeouts, one walk, two home runs, five earned runs. Aldred. One third of an inning pitched. Zero strikeouts, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Robertson gets the loss. All right. Check the league leaders. And Justice is still up there. Was it Justice that was there last time, or was that Ramirez? I can't remember. I can probably go check back and check if I want. All right. 14 stolen bases for Otis Nixon, 7 for Alex Gonzalez, 5 for Omar Vizcal. <coughs> Pardon me. Doug Otto Sprague McGuire still leading a slugging percentage. Nixon Sprague Justice on base percentage. Oh, Sprague and David Justice are tied. And Carlos Delgado is behind them. Sixteen doubles for David David Justice, fifteen doubles for Manny Ramirez, fourteen apiece for Robert Roberto Alomar, Cordero, and Edmonds. I was about to say Sandy Alomar, but then I saw the R. I was like, oh, it's Roberto. <laughs> uh, all right, triples. Otis Nixon has seven triples. Alex Gonzalez six, four apiece for Sean Green and Nomar Garcia Para. 25 home runs for Mark McGuire, 22 for Ed Sprague, 18 for Benito Santiago, 46, 41, and 26 RBIs respectively. 46 RBIs for Mark McGuire, 45 for Joe Carter, and 43 for Jim Tomey. 
25 walks for Edgar Martinez, 23 for Ken Griffey Jr., and 21 apiece for Grissom and Phillips. 35 runs for Jim Tomey, 32 for Anderson, 30 for Grissom and Mark McGuire. Pitching. Juan Guzman, 9 wins with an ERA of 1.025. Crabtree, zero wins with an ERA of zero. Five saves, five innings pitched. Seven saves from Micelli, or Michelli. Crabtree right behind him. Two saves behind. 69 strikeouts for Johnson still, 60 strikeouts for Facero, and 58 for Avery. Seven complete games for Juan Guzman. Today's was not one of them. Five shutouts. Today was not one of them. <laughs> Eight quality starts. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think... I don't think he gave up a run in the first inning, did he? No, I think he might have. It was nine innings ago. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, all right. Now for the National League. For wins, Bilecki, Wollers, and Wright. Six wins apiece. ERAs of 0 0.418, 0 0.512, and 2.169, respectively. <clears throat> Pardon me. Still a couple of zero ERAs in the National League. Wow, Tom Glavin. 0 0.350 ERA. And Swift from Colorado, 0 0.254. Eight saves for Shaw, seven for Ruffin, six for Urbina. Nice to see a Montreal Expo up there. Seventy six strikeouts for Schmidt. Let's see, uh Yeah, so he's still averaging more than eight strikeouts in it more than eight strikeouts a game, but I think he actually went up. It's like almost like eight and a half strikeouts a game. If a half a strikeout were possible. Or were a, a stat that was kept. <laughs> 76 strikeouts. Wow. That's consistency for you. <laughs> uh, if they were consistent, though, I don't see how he would have that many strikeouts if it weren't. Unless he had absolutely just dominated the batters beforehand, like, <clears throat> in some games, but even then, the most number of strikeouts you can get in a game is 27, so. Still quite a bit, but, you know. Seven complete games for Schmidt. Two shutouts with that. Nine quality starts for Shurik. He has still not given up a run in the first inning. <laughs> Good on him. Cincinnati, eh? I wonder if we'll ever play them this season. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, and for batting, Barry Bonds still up there, th batting 395. Followed by Grayson Flaherty, 330 and 322 each, respectively. Eight stolen bases for Deion Sanders, seven for Young, six apiece for Clayton Johnson, Klesko Jones, and Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, Henry Rodriguez, and Gilkey leading in slugging percentage. Jeff Bagwell are right behind him. Oops, wrong button. Twenty-three doubles for Blauser. Looks like he added to his tally there. Fourteen for Vice and twelve apiece for Bagwell, Klesko, and Joyner. 
five triples for Johnson, four to sh for Shields. Three apiece for Clayton Grudzelenic, Morandini, and Boone. Has that changed at all in the past few games? I don't think it has. It might have, but I feel like I've said that many times. <laughs> a few games in a row, so. All right, Henry Rodriguez leading in home runs with 16, Sammy Sosa with 14, and Barry Bonds with 13. Ooh, Sammy Sosa had a, a good game. <clears throat> Pardon me. 34, 22, and 23 RBIs, respectively. Yeah, Barry Bonds is still edging him out in the uh, RBI department, at least, though. And 23 RBIs for Gilkey as well. So you got 34, 30, and 23, and 23 for RBIs for Rod Henry Rodriguez, Gans, Gilkey, and Bonds, respectively. 23 walks for Lopez. 21 apiece for Alfonso and Sierra. 20 for Hamilton and Barry Bonds. Yeesh. How many home runs does he have? 13. So I'm guessing the times that he's... How many at-bats does he have? That's what? That's 33 at-bats. Ah, okay. So <laughs> I was about to make a hyperbole. It's like, yeah, when he's not getting walked, he's hitting home runs. But no, that's not the case. It doesn't look like... <laughs> Well, still, 33 out of 124, was it? Yeah, that's still a roughly one-fourth. Slightly over. Uh, where are we? Okay. 32 runs for Barry Bonds, 26 for Henry Rodriguez, 21 apiece for Gilkey and Young. Alrighty. And at the end of May 9th, 1997, the American League West, Oakland leading with 16 wins, 19 losses, followed by Seattle, 15 and 19, Te Texas, Texas, no, Texas, <laughs> 14 and 20, I don't know what that accident was, but it was mine, anyways, <laughs> Anaheim, 12 and 21. Central, Cleveland leading 25 wins, 10 losses, followed by Kansas City, 19 and 15, Chicago, 16 and 17, Minnesota, 16 and 20, and Milwaukee, 11 and 22. East, Toronto, 31 wins, 4 losses, followed by, <coughs> pardon me, Baltimore, 24 and 12, Detroit, 17 and 18, New York, 13 and 22, and Boston, 13 and 23. And the NL West. Colorado's 20 and 14, San Diego 18 and 15, San Francisco 14 and 19, and Los Angeles 10 and 23. Central, St. Louis 22 and 13, Cincinnati 19 and 16, Chicago 15 and 19, Pittsburgh 15 and 21, and Houston 11 and 24. And finally, in the East, Atlanta leading 27 wins, 8 losses. Followed by Montreal, 20 and 13. New York, 21 and 14. Ooh, that's a close one. Florida, 14 and 20. And Philadelphia, 14 and 21. That division's always been like that so far this season, hasn't it? Just, you know, Atlanta on top, and then the other four teams just going back and forth with each other, really. Montreal, New York, Florida, Philadelphia. Whereas lately, that's the way it's been, so... Anyways, next time on May 10th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are still in Minnesota to uh, get into their second game of the four-game series before heading off to Detroit. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.